In this video, we'll be looking for how to create different types of objects into your Excel. Let's see those one by one. What are different things I'll show you? How to create a PowerPoint into the Excel, how to create a Word document into the Excel, and that looks very good. Now, I'll just keep my cursor at any place where I want to insert my PowerPoint, and the steps are very simple. I'll go to the Insert tab. After Insert tab, I'll go to this option as Insert Objects. A very small object is given here on the right-hand side of headers footers. I'll just click on this uh, object. I'll get a dialog box. Now, if you see, I'll go to this tab that is Create New. It is asking for which type of object do you want. There are loads of objects available. If you see, there's a, a PowerPoint, there's a Word document, etc. So what I'll do is I'll select here one option that is Microsoft PowerPoint presentation, this option. And if you see, I'll uh, Microsoft PowerPoint uh, presentation is selected and I'll click on OK. So once I click on OK, you see there's a PowerPoint slide which is inserted. Now, if you see the difference, my Excel tabs have been removed and there's a new tab which has come that's a PowerPoint tab. If you see, these are the tabs for the PowerPoint, not for the Excel one. So now, if I keep my cursor outside, it goes away. The PowerPoint tabs goes away and I'm back to the Excel one. Now, what if I want to, uh, if I want to change the uh, PPT, if I want to add some slides into that, uh, P, this one. So how do I do this? I'll just right click on this option. And if you see, there's an option as presentation object and I'll say as edit. So how do I find out? I'll just right click on the screen of the slide go to this option presentation object i'll click on edit so once i click on edit i'll come back to the powerpoint now why it is coming so because microsoft is the main product and excel word powerpoint these are the child products of the ms office so now if you see i can just do the same thing what i used to do in the powerpoint separately now i can do inside the excel itself so i'll just type i'll create some two three slides like this first i'll type here some name tutorials point and how do you create a slide? The shortcut is Control M. Control M. If you see the Control M, the shortcut is for new, creating new slide. Otherwise, the long cut method is I'll go to this option and click on this new slide. Again, I'll click on this new slide. So you see, there are four slides inserted. And I'll just change the names of the slide this way. Second slide, I'll type here slide 2. And on the third slide, I'll type here slide 3. On the fourth slide, I'll go and type here slide 4. That's it. So my work is done. Same if I want to do formatting, editing and everything, I can do it. Now I'll just click outside. My work is done. Now if I go to the client to give a presentation, the only thing what I have to do is, yeah, I have to just double click on this slide. I have to just double click. So once I double click, yeah, once I double click, that will become a presentation mode. Now if I want, I can just keep on changing it. Slide 2, slide 3, slide 4, that's all. So you can just show it in a proper manner. This is one method, how you can insert a PowerPoint. Another one is if you want to insert a Word document, this was for the PowerPoint, how do you insert a Word document? I'll take some space, keep my cursor in the uh, new sheet, new place. I'll go to the insert tab and click on this insert object. Now I'll select for the Word document. Let me check where's the Word document. Yeah, if you see there's a Microsoft Word document, I'll select on this option. And if you want, you can display as an icon. The icon looks very small. But if you see you do not want as an icon, you just click on OK. and. Uh, yeah, that's a Word document. Now, if you see carefully, the Excel, uh, the tabs have been replaced with the Word tab. Now, it is the same if you see reference, mailing, review, those tabs are present in Word, but you can work similarly in this place. Now, I'll type something. Yeah, that's it. So, I'll just go back, yeah, and I'll click outside. That's it. So, my work is done. So, if you want, you can just open this Word document and you can find out anything like this. How do you double click and you can open it? This way you can work on it. So this way there are many uh, different objects which you can create inside the Excel and uh, it reduces your size. So you, when you are going for a presentation, you can uh, create all the objects into one Excel sheet that will make more sensible, right? I hope you have understood and that's all for this video.